Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um. I'm Morgan, and um, I'm not that interesting. I'm from Seattle. Oh, you might need to cut that out. <laughs> I just touched your boob. <laughs> no, I'm leaving it in there. <laughs> I'm leaving it in there. <laughs> <laughs> I have free access, so I'm going to see him brown. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, there you Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here, guys. Come here. Come on. Okay, lay down. Lay down. Okay. <laughs> it's the star of the video now. <laughs> oh, dig. <laughs> no, stay. <laughs> Just hold your ball. Ow, God, the couch, my legs. Okay, hey, Morgan. Yeah. Introduction. Um, okay, I'm Morgan and I'm from Seattle and well I'm actually from Federal Way, which is like south of Seattle, but Seattle. And um I work at Disney World uh, in the entertainment department. Making magic. Um, <laughs> um and I am passionate about firefighting and painting. Um, what else do I do? Oh, I write poetry. <laughs> and I don't know. She's really fun. <laughs> we have a lot of fun together. Um. I don't know. I don't feel that interesting anymore. <laughs> she has three brothers and a sister. This is true. Um, Her parents are still married. Yeah, after 20 years. And not only are they still married, but they're still, like, passionately in love, which is crazy. Apparently there are role models. Yeah, there are role models. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> your turn. <laughs> this is Adam, and <laughs> he lives in Wyoming. <laughs> um, it's nice here. Yeah. Legitimately, I like it. No, it is really nice here, actually. Yep, and um... Meg has given us the death stare. Yep, and I have one dog. <laughs> oh, I felt like so I cute. <laughs> and I have one dog. <laughs> and three friends. <laughs> and three siblings. I have a twin brother. He's a douchebag though. <laughs> Not as cool as me. Come here, Dig. Come here. Come here. Let's see. I. Am I supposed to give like transitional no. information? No. Oh, good. <laughs> um. <laughs> I like the outdoors. And animals. You like animals? Yep. Yep. Going, going, going to school via vet tech. Then talk. Yeah, then a doctor. We're gonna be billionaires? Probably not billionaires. Have lots we'll of live babies. in our means. We're gonna have a lot of babies. <laughs> this video is obnoxious. You're gonna have a fun time editing it. Okay. Okay. Does your partner experience dysphoria? No, not really. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> how does it affect your relationship? <laughs> NA? How do you help your partner through it? NA? <laughs> NA? How do you help your. Okay, what advice can you give someone else regarding dealing with their partner's dysphoria and helping them through it? Um. 
be patient, I guess, and understanding, and don't take it personally, and give them space. Mostly just don't take it personally, I guess. Yeah, those are all really good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And communicate <laughs> about it. Yeah, communicate. But that's the next video. <laughs> Are we done talking about it now? Yeah. What? Okay, do we need to say anything else about dysphoria? Um. <laughs> I don't really have any, though, anymore now that I've had surgery. You didn't want to meet me before. You didn't want to meet me before you had top surgery. Yep. Yeah, but it worked out good. Yeah. Legitimately, we would have met before. That didn't really work out anyway, so it's kind of just like a sign. And it was just like easier, I think, like mentally on both of us. Because then I didn't have to wonder what she was thinking. And I didn't have to like be super freaked out. She didn't have to, like, wonder how to act around me and stuff, so it was just, it was easier. Wonder how to act. Yeah. Okay, I think that's enough for this video. Okay.